Rosa, the camera pilot uh, for Top Gun Maverick, but I'm also going to check his singing skills. You never close your eyes anymore when I kiss your lips. Ba -do, ba -do, ba -do. Okay, maybe our singing skills aren't quite I'm there, but you're flying. <laughs> you're going to stick to flying. And you've been doing that great for 20 years. And um, tell us about your involvement in this film. Um, you're controlling the cameras up there for Top Gun Maverick. I mean, how cool is this job? It's amazing. It's exceptional. My job actually is flying the camera jet and camera okay. helicopter, and I got a gentleman in the back, the aerial DP operating the camera. So awesome. I'm flying the camera jet, trying to put the jet in the right spot to make that incredible shot. I wish it was sunny enough for us to wear this, these. Uh, yeah, it's know. still a little cloudy, but um, we looked, I, I think. I I'm, thought we were I'm sponsored. Maybe, yeah. Um, so awesome. So when did you get into this? Because Dad had some involvement on this, right? And you started flying at a young age, like 14 years old. I did. Yeah. Uh, third generation pilot, second generation stunt pilot. My dad's a very well known stunt pilot. Uh, and both my dad and I had the pleasure of starting this movie and training our cast together wow. so that they were experienced to get in the F-18s. Um, and from there, my role evolved to be the aerial coordinator of the movie, so in charge of all of the aerial sequences. Wow. And I flew some new technology that we'd built for the movie called a, a Cinejet. And we basically took a little fighter trainer jet, stuck yeah. the latest and greatest camera technology on it. Oh, cool. And that's how we took the audience for the thrill ride. Oh, man. This is like our, our own version of Tom Cruise here. Yeah, like this is pretty cool stuff. So um, you probably met Tom. Absolutely. Uh, what, what, is many he, years. what has he, um, what did he want out of you for Top Gun Maverick? Uh, it's pretty simple. Tom started this project off with telling us and setting the standard that everything had to be perfect. Yeah. Uh, the odds were against us. This is a sequel. And right. the movie's iconic. Yeah. So everything totally. we did had to be a level of perfection that we've never seen before. I've heard that about him, right? Oh, yeah. the, the perfectionist, and he does a lot of his own stunts and a lot of his own all of them. piloting and all that stuff. So all he wants the actors that are doing this to take it next level. Absolutely. Right, and you were there to help kind of coordinate that. Absolutely, so Tom uh, oversaw and helped us put together a training program. Mm -hmm. We started the cast in Cessna 172 so that they can get used to flying, spatial okay. awareness, and what aviation was all about. Then we graduated them into the Extra 300, which is a very maneuverable aircraft. Cool. And that got them into the G-tolerance. You've heard of it before. Oh, they were yeah. getting 1,600 pounds of oh, force on gosh. their chest. Oh, my gosh. you got to be in good physical shape. You obviously are, but and these actors, I'm they assuming. They all were. They were incredible. Yeah. So we built them up there, and then we finally put them into an L-39, which is a jet trainer, so that they can fly a jet in full oh, Gs. Wow. By the time they got in the F-18s, they were pros. Oh, really? Wow. Oh, I, I was extremely impressed. Oh, that's super cool. By the way, um, so San Diego, we're lucky we get the premiere today on the USS Midway. You're going to be at this this afternoon. I will. A uh, red carpet event. Are you going to get all, like, spiffed up with Abs the tux and all that stuff? You got yeah. it all set? Okay. Yeah, got a stylist. Uh, Good. Yep, Quentin wow. Fierce hooked me up. Wow, you got people, man. I don't even have people. That's pretty cool. Um, so you're excited. This is a lot of hard work that's, that's been done by um, a lot of people. I mean, but, but for you... What, did, what, is it, uh, what does it feel like on a day like today where all your hard work, the culmination of your efforts, is going to be rolled out today here in San Diego? I think I speak on behalf of everybody who worked on the movie. We put our blood, sweat, and tears in this movie yeah. for, for over a year and a half. And to know that the general public is going to start seeing these efforts and this hard work, this movie is going to be iconic. I think it's yeah. going to change the world, and it'll be a part of history forever. Awesome. Well, because we, 35 years ago, it was. Yep. I mean, that was a summer blockbuster, and I, it, to this day, it's still such a great, uh, such a great film. Um, this has been something that the pandemic kind of, you know, messed with the timelines on a little bit. We've had to wait a little longer. W has anything changed in the time when it was originally going to be released? The, the, the release here have, has. Have you done anything differently, or how, how did that all work out? No, I, I can't speak on that. I don't think anything was done differently. I just know that it was very targeted, and the, and the big push here is that people need to see this in theater. Yeah. They need to see it with the best possible imagery and sound, and that's okay. what we wanted to do. To so have it completely surround you, be right there in the moment. Yep, you're going to get that very visceral experience that you're riding on those F-18s. Is there a moment in the film where you're like, I did that? <laughs> like, you're like, I... I, I all my uh, training and knowledge helped pull that sequence off. Is there something that, without giving away, you know, this, the fight scenes and everything, is there something that you're super proud of in the film that you want to bring up? I would say that the movie is full of aerial sequences that have never been done before. Wow. Uh, and there was tons of times. And you've been where, doing this for 20 years. Uh, and yeah. you, you were able to pull off new stuff. Absolutely. And there's times where we're out there and, you know, we're pinching ourselves going, I can't believe we just did this. Wow. Or I can't believe this is happening. Cool. And we go back and watch the dailies and just we'd be blown away. And again, we would push ourselves to always make it better.
I was a kid um, when this uh, this came out, which ages me. Um, but uh, those who haven't seen this, that weren't around when this came out, or maybe haven't even seen the original, can they still see this and still be you know on the edge of their seat? One hundred percent. In fact, the story is so incredible. You know, I feel like non-aviation folks are going to fall in love with this movie. Um, it's an incredible story, and it's shot beautifully. Regardless of being an aviator or not an aviator, this movie will be iconic. Uh, let's talk about the military component. We're a military town, and uh, th thus the reason we're getting the rollout today, right? Mm -hmm. um, so we're very fortunate to, to, uh, to have that. Um, the military and, and uh, the Navy being represented in this. Yep. Um, talk about that. Is that threaded throughout the film quite a bit? And, uh, and how, was, how did you have to know about all that to incorporate your skills? Absolutely. Well, aside from being a love letter to aviation and a competition film, this is a U.S. naval aviation film. Mm -hmm. um, and the Navy was incredible to work with. Uh, you know, I think I learned and, and got this newfound appreciation for what they do on a day-to-day -day basis. I always like to say, we never realize it, but there's men and women somewhere standing in a yeah, line right. of duty ready to protect us on a yeah. ship sitting on an F-18, uh, ready to do whatever they got to do to yeah. protect our freedom. And working with them every single day, they're consummate professionals, they're great people, and they did everything they could to help us make this movie amazing. That's awesome. Kevin, I wanted to ask you any other um, films you've been in that you've been that we have seen that some of your work's been showcased? Yeah, absolutely. A lot of the Marvel movies, we've done a lot of the Iron Mans and, uh, yeah. and Avengers and Transformers, Interstellar. Uh, after this, there's another big Navy movie coming out called Devotion, which I worked with Glenn Powell on. Um, that'll showcase later this year. Um, and another one called The Gray Man, another big one coming awesome. out that we just did. So, yeah. Kevin LaRosa on the back lot here this morning with us. Thanks for your time. And any, any any last words to people that are thinking about uh, maybe checking this movie out in, in, here in a couple weeks, right? Yep. Make sure you see it with the best possible sound and the best possible imagery you can see it because it is a thrill ride from start to finish. Okay. Don't lose that love and feeling, okay. right? Let's send it back to Netta. Should we throw the shades back on? Oh, yeah, I guess you You've lost that love and feeling as it's gone, gone, gone.